problems at China nuclear power plant are serious enough to warrant to shut shut down. The French co-owner warns. Construction equipment is parked near the Taishan nuclear power plant in southern China's Guangdong province on June 17, 2021. CNN. French power company that co-owns a nuclear plant in China would shut it down if it could due to a damage to a fewer roads, a spokesperson said, but the decision is ultimately up to the plant's Chinese operator. The spokesperson to Electricity de France said on Thursday that while it was not an emergency situation at the Taishan, Taishan nuclear power plant located in China's southern Guangdong province, it was a serious situation that is involving. If the reactor was in France, the company would have shut it down already due to the procedures and practices in terms of operating nuclear power plants in France, the spokesperson said. The spokesperson did not directly call on China to halt operations at the plant, noting it was a decision for each Chinese partner and majority shareholder in the plant, the China General Nuclear Power Group. CNN first reported in June that the French company Pramatom on EDF subsidiary, subsidiary which supports operations at Taishan had warned of the imminent radiological threat at the plant, promoting the United States government to investigate the possibility of the leak. The company had also accused the Chinese, Chinese safety authority of raising the acceptable limit for radiation detection outside the plant in order to avoid having to shut it down, according to a letter from the Plumatome to the U.S. Dep Department of Energy obtained by CNN. Chinese authorities have denied any danger at the plant, saying soon after CNN's exclusive report that there was no abnormality in the radiation environment and the safety of the plant was guaranteed. Authorities declined to answer follow-up questions regarding Flamatum's warning to U.S. officials. In June, the Chinese Nuclear Safety Administration acknowledged the increased level of radioactivity in the primary circuit in one of the two reactors due to damaged fuel rolls but said it was completely different from a radiological leakage accident because the physical barriers are safe. It, will, it also denied the raising the acceptable limit of radiation and said the levels were still within the range of allowable, stable operations. The agency also pre previously said one only five of the reactors, more than 60,000 fuel rolls, were affected, adding there was no risk of radiation leaking to the environment. On Thursday, the EDF spokesperson reiteratedly reiterated it was detecting an increase in unknowable gas in a reactor and that the company had publicly clarified its position to the Chinese plant owner and operator Taishan Nuclear Power Joint Venture Cooperation. EDF holds, a, holds a 30 percent stake in TM, TMPJVC, a joint venture with the state-owned China General Nuclear Power Group. We've shared with them. We shared with them all the elements of EDF's analysis and all the reasons why in France we will stop the reactor, the spokesperson said, so, so that they can take the decision that will be necessary as responsible operators. According to a spokesperson, EDF would, would have shut down the reactor in order to avoid further de degra degrading of the fuel roads. 
and uh, carry out an investigation and uh, avoid further damage to the industrial facility. But the ultimate, ultimate decision is up to TNPJVC, which intended to carry out its own analysis, the spokesperson said. EDF said they did not have a timeline for the operator's decision. Framatom declined to provide additional comment when asked about the EDF statement. CNS Nectar can contribute to reporting from Hong Kong.